as we have been opening up the just listening community as a dissociocodic community so for people who hear voices visions altered states it's been a beautiful experience to witness a group of people coming together both those who are labeled with psychosis schizophrenia those type labels and those who aren't labeled with that <laughs> labeled by others of course and one of the more striking things has been as we learn just listening together and then we sit together in community the lack of psychosis and it's not a surprise but that when we say lack of psychosis we mean the lack of distress in people experiencing altered states and so we spend the afternoons together in convivial relationship connection community and take care to manage our own experiences in relation to others rather than asking the other person to change their experience in relation to us of course there is no us and them in this community there's a group of people spending time together and i think this is just worthy of reflecting on in when we approach someone who's got a label of psychosis perhaps hearing voices having unusual beliefs or realities that are different to our own who somebody else has said about them is that they're ill or sick we might remind ourselves to go back to this basic idea that someone is being as they need to be there's not a mental illness it's a being as they need to be in that moment albeit sometimes distressing for them because in that moment they needed to be that way because there's distress this is also true earlier this year i was in london and we were facilitating just listening and the dissociocodic principle in a acute psychiatric assessment unit which was locked originally although towards the end it managed to be unlocked because we managed to demonstrate that perhaps we didn't need to lock people in when they were coming in in distress but rather we needed to be in relationship with them and what we noticed there as well was people who've been labeled with psychosis often with schizophrenia um, when listened to tell these beautiful stories of their lives very clearly and the point i want to make here is how quickly and how skillfully people who've been labeled as psychotic we would say are in dissociocodic ways of being as a necessary experience to put something between them and the other actually how quickly and skillfully these individuals sense an environment that doesn't provide the same threat as they have experienced in their lives or, or know to be true in many relationships and how very quickly those so-called psychotic states appear to evaporate and so we've seen it now in london this year in an acute psychiatric assessment setting and on wards and we're seeing it here in the dissociocodic community and what it reminds me is that it's all about the person supporting the other person who's said to be psychotic um, and 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 how we the listener the supporter needs to manage their experience their dissociocodic phenomena what am i putting as the supporter between me and the other which means the other feels fearful and threatened and needs to be in an altered state how's that happening in individual relationship and in group dynamic and if we consider that, what we find is the evaporation of the so-called psychotic state. So what does the current system look like? Well, I think Knots by Lang is a really great example. I'm just going to read you a quick, quick page from that book. And this is what we currently provide. And this is what we're seeing the opposite of in the just listening community and also in the uh, in the inpatient acute psychiatric settings of London. This is what we see normally there is something i don't know that i'm supposed to know i don't know what it is i don't know and yet i'm supposed to know and i feel i look stupid if i seem not both not to know it and not know what it is i don't know therefore i pretend to know it this is nerve-wracking since i don't know what i must pretend to know therefore i pretend to know everything i feel you know what i'm supposed to know but you can't tell me what it is because you don't know that i don't know what it is you may know what I don't know, but not that I don't know it. And I can't tell you, so you will have to tell me everything. And that's the setup where the listener, specialist, supporter, carer, loved one becomes having to tell the person in an altered state everything. It's not true. If we stop creating these contexts and environments, people emerge in a very different way. 
They don't need to place between them and the other a psychosis as a response to their life experiences and the meaning they've made from that and then create a dissociative reality that can exist between me and the other so that I'm safe. They don't need to do that. So what we're seeing is this amazing evaporation of an altered state when there's an interconnected process of growth within a loving non-goal orientated relationship and it leads to the negation of a need for an altered state to exist so we might think of altered state psychosis as when there is no loving connected mutual journey it might be necessary for the emergence of an altered state for voices visions beliefs structures around us when that loving non-goal orientated relationship emerges and there's a willingness of the listener the person supporting being open to their own vulnerability and taking responsibility for their own experience in the environment and context and relationship then the evaporation of the so-called altered state can occur and we can see the person not as a psychotic schizophrenic labeled human but as a human being as they need to be in any given moment which of course is just a mirror of the listener noticing how they can be in any moment in a way that can create a loving connection that doesn't require the altered states to exist. Really amazing and beautiful to see this playing out in different settings and really create stories in my mind of why is it we can have a group of people here that were they in a psychiatric hospital would look and be considered to be psychotic and when here are considered to be mutual beings and why do psych why can psychiatric hospitals not be these places of calm and beauty of human connectedness and of course there's very simple answers to that and that is is that the professionals and the workers and everyone in them is doing things to people so if we stop doing we be in loving or non-goal orientated relationship the mutuality can exist and these environments can be much more conducive to human connection. I think this is a better answer to how we respond to people in altered states than the current systems. And it's each one of us can take responsibility to support that environment and relational connection so that these moments can emerge between us.